Please like share and subscribe the channel to show your support. When we are studying about the course of computer graphics, you will see that we are studying it step by step. That is at the uh, starting we discuss about the introduction of the computer graphics, the classification of the computer graphics. Next we discuss about the application of the computer graphics. After that we discuss about the uh, input and output devices related to the computer graphics and after that we discuss about the theory of frame buffer that is how the images are stored the next thing we started about the graphics algorithm that is how we can plot the uh, images from the mathematical equation to the on the screen so everything we have discussed that is we discuss about the uh, how we can plot the images that is that is up to that point now we are going to start about the topic which is about the graphics transformation that is you know how to plot the images on the screen after that we can start these operations this is called as graphics transformation what is transformation transformation meaning is that we are going to change something so uh, in this we are having the mathematical operation that we are going to apply on uh, geometry of any object uh, or you can say that the, and the geometric description of the object to change its position orientation and size these are the these operation we are going to uh, do with the help of the mathematics remember one thing that in the computer graphics always or in the background we are doing the mathematical operation so mathematics is very important geometry is very important for the graphic so uh, what it is saying that uh, to change the geometric description of the object uh, for its position orientation and size are called as geometric transformation or graphics transformation sometimes it is also referred as mathematical modeling or mathematical transformation the next thing is that what are the basic operations uh, we can apply on any object that is uh, translation rotation scaling sharing and reflection these operation are the basic operation we can apply on the two dimensional object and also for the three dimensional object in this session we are going to discuss about the two dimensional operation uh, or two dimensional transformation operation that is we are going to apply this on the xy plane scaling operation a scaling operation uh, we cannot display on the individual pixel because this is the expansion and compression of the object so the position of the pixel will be changed uh, so we, so uh, a scaling is also called as expansion and compression of the object that is we are going to apply this operation on the complete object either it will be expand or enlarge or it will be compress or it will be reduce the size will be reduced suppose that this is the operation uh, when we are applying the expansion operation the size of the object will be enlarged and the size of the object will compress when we are going to apply the reduction operation or compression operation so uh, you cannot uh, display actually for the single pixel that is for the single pixel if you will represent you will become confused so the best thing is that uh, we will show the operation we will calculate the equation for the single pixel but that operation will be applied on the complete object so its size will be reduced or it increase so uh, the thing which is needed for the scaling operation it is called as a scaling factor that is we should be uh, we should have one scaling factor that is sx sy that is sx is for the x with respect to the x axis uh, scaling factor that is we need to multiply and for sy sy is denoting for the y uh, y axis or for the y direction <coughs> the equation for the scaling matrix we can write x dash equal to x into sx and y dash equal to y into sy so uh, this is direct multiplication to the pixel value and this is the direct multiplication to the y pixel value so uh, we need to represent because we cannot use this equation directly on the graphics processor so we need to convert this to the mat uh, matrix operation or we need to convert this operation uh, this equation to the format of the matrix so that graphics processor will calculate it easily so uh, how we can write this one suppose that this is x dash equal to x into sx plus because the value of y is 0 on the x direction so this is 0 into sy same thing for the y dash equal to 0 into sx plus y into sy we can expand this equation in the into this format after that we can easily write the uh, your matrix uh, matrix uh, representation for this equation we can write p dash equal to s into p p dash is the old uh, new pixel position after the scaling factor s is the scaling factor and p is the old pixel value so 
uh, we can represent this equation x dash y dash this is x this is 0 so this is sx this is 0 this is 0 this is sy into xy so this is the matrix equation um, for representing uh, um, scaling operation this is the matrix equation for uh, your scaling operation x dash y dash sx 0 0 sy and xy for to check the matrix compatibility that we can apply this operation on this uh, matrix or not this is 2 by 2 matrix and this is 2 by 1 matrix because the number of row and number of column are equal for the two matrix so we can apply the matrix multiplication at this place so this is about the scaling factor for uh, uh, scaling operation we are having three four cases we will discuss all the three four cases uh, what uh, in which case we will get which object suppose that for the case number one if the value of sx and sy is less than 1 in this case what we will get we will get compression that is if the value of both value of sx and sy you are uh, having the less than 1 value then you will get in the output your product will be reduced in both direction s and y direction the second case if sx and sy is greater than 1 then in this case we are having the enlargement in both direction uh, and if it is equal to 1 there is no change because it is a scaling factor so there is no change in the object the next case may be possible if sx is less than 1 and sy is greater than 1 so in this case the reduction in the x direction and enlargement in the y direction you may get the object in this way for the case 4 if sx is greater than 1 and sy is less than 1 so in this case you may get the object in this way So these are the four possible cases in the scaling operation or the scaling transformation operation. These operation we are discussing about the two dimensional transformation. We are not considering the z axis or z value. This is the problem related to the two dimensional scaling operation. In this one the object we are, it is saying that scale the object for a single pixel. We are not going to apply this operation on the complete object. We are representing this operation only for the single pixel P 100-100 with the scaling factor 0 0.8 1.5 its meaning is that in the x direction we will apply 0 0.8 it is reduction and 1.5 in the y direction that is expansion so the object output will be that is in x direction it will be reduced with 0 0.8 factor and y direction it will be increased 1.5 factor okay but maybe for the single pixel maybe you are not able to identify what kind of the operation is there but uh, finally when you will apply this operation on the complete object you will get the operation in this way uh, so, uh, 0.8 factor suppose that this is the object so the output will be finally in this way that is 0.8 factor reduction in the x direction and 1.5 uh, expansion in the y direction but this is for the single pixel maybe it is not visible or you are not able to uh, discriminate what is the uh, what, what is the pixel and why it is not expanding and compressing so uh, let's start for the solution for this one this is the equation for the matrix equation for the scaling operation this is x dash y dash new pixel value sx and sy for the scaling factor then this is the old pixel value so in this case sx is given to us 0.8 this is given to us 0 this is given to us 0 this is given to us 0 0.5 1.5 so the matrix operation we are applying for the single pixel 
this operation we are applying for the single pixel so we will go for the matrix multiplication again in the same method uh, this is 0.8 into 100 plus 0 into 100 for the second row first column this is 0 into 100 plus 1.5 into 100 so the output you will get 80 and 150 so you can say that uh, before matrix uh, operation or scaling operation the pixel value was 100 100 after scaling factor when we apply it you get the value 80 comma 150 this is only for the single pixel but the output for the complete object when you will apply this operation for all pixel uh, values for this object you will get the object in this way